Okay, my name's um, Ginny um, and I'm CEO of Mid and North East Essex Mind and I'm joined today by um, Connor and Jamie um, to talk about Time to Talk Day um, and the things that we're going to be doing here at the grounds on the 3rd of February. So welcome, it's really nice to meet you both. Um, so we're going to be taking over um, and having a chatty bus outside for fans before the match and we're going to just be generally highlighting how important uh, mental health is and how important it is to look after ourselves. Um, and and so I'm sure that you agree that mental health is really important and I, I don't know if you have anything to, to kind of contribute with about that. Yeah, well, I suppose in this environment, it's really important, yeah. you know, uh, speaking from a, a season ticket holder myself here, um, we've got so many fans who are from various different, you know, walks of life, different jobs, different kinds of families, um, and we're all so different and we're coming together. And actually, we don't know what's going on in each other's lives. You know, I've been through things. I'm sure some of my friends have been through things. So coming here, is, it's almost like a bit of a focal hub. And uh, these guys probably don't realise actually how important it is to a lot of the fans because it's our chance to actually escape mm. those, you know, every li everyday life sort of worries, I suppose. Yeah. And you come to football and you have a good time with your friends. It's all about socialising. Um, yeah, I say yeah, it's, it's really it, important. From my point of view, like it's kind of similar for us. Football gives us that that out. Mm. We're able to go and play football <clears throat> day to day and play games on a Saturday or a Tuesday, and uh, we're able to forget about everything that's going on in our lives. Um, and like you say, we've got loads of players in the dressing room from loads of different backgrounds, nationalities, um, and everyone's going through something different and, and no one really knows and especially with football like the waves of emotion one week you could be in the team the next week you're not playing for a, a month or so or you get injured so it's all about trying to deal with the, how you how you react to, to them, them, them sort of things really. You know, as a captain, it must be um, important to kind of make sure that the, the rest of the team are doing okay. And um, do you think there are any strategies that anyone in the team uses to kind of help them with their mental health? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure to be honest. Like you say, it's, it's not really visible. From my point of view, you come in every day, you say hello to everyone, say you're all right, you have conversations with people. And people usually, yeah, I'm good, thank you, how are you? Like, it's always a yes, I'm fine. And are they really fine? You don't really know. Um, but you can kind of see from, from body language, certain people, um, especially, like I say, if they're not in the team or, or they've not had a good day in training, you can sort of see it in them or see how they've been in training. Uh, some of the more vocal ones sometimes aren't as vocal. Uh, so you can kind of gauge that there might be a problem or might be something going on and you just got to approach people how you see them really and uh, that's the most difficult bit. It's such a good point that you make and actually the Time to Talk Day is all about that and the fact that sometimes when you ask that question how you do it and you go yeah I'm fine or you know yeah it's all right um, and um, you make such a good point that often it's about checking in and actually asking a second time and like no really um, and giving someone that kind of full attention um, which it sounds like you're doing with the team which is fantastic fantastic and absolutely what you were saying about community the fans here you know that is that will be an absolute release for a lot of the fans that they come here they feel part of a family um, you know and, and really obviously rooting for the team of course um, but also the fact that um, the club is kind of supporting and wanting to promote this mental health message you know that's because the club also sees how important it is to kind of promote that family and what do you do when you've got someone who's not feeling great in your family you kind of like look out for them don't you and you kind of ask questions um, so you've both segued really neatly into what the whole point of <laughs> Um, time to Talk Day is all about. So it actually happens on the Thursday of the week of the big Forest Green game. Um, so, um, but yes, we're going to be here with the chatty bus so fans can come down um, and have a chat with one of the members of the team here. Um, and I'd really like to highlight our um, Crisis Cafe service that we operate in Colchester um, and um, North East Essex. Um, and that's a phone number that anyone can ring for support um, after hours, what, you know, after five o'clock, when a lot of other sort of services stop. Um, obviously people's mental health needs and distress don't stop necessarily so um, they're a really lovely team that are there to kind of support people um, so what do you think about the benefits of moving and mental health have you ever kind of really thought about how that works for you guys yeah well, I don't know about you Connor but I, I, I did the London Marathon probably about six years ago now and through my training 
it's just that you lose everything that you're thinking because obviously you train every day but you you can just completely switch off um, and it's uh, yeah you just get into almost a different world a different environment put your headphones in listen to your music um, and yeah I used, I used to absolutely love it just zone out completely into a different world I suppose almost um, so yeah really important yeah. and I say football training again obviously we only train once a month and um, once a week, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Not quite that's once a month. I, I, I do it once a month, but I thought my body can cope. <laughs> and play once a week. Um, and But yeah, again, it's, it's just a chance to actually, again, for us, it's a social thing. Um, you know, you're seeing your friends who play for the, the ladies' team, um, and you can, you can just forget about everything else. So yeah, really important. Yeah, likewise for us, it is really important. Um, I remember end of last season, uh, obviously we train all week, play games uh, and you feel good when you're training. Um, I went away straight after the last game of the season and I got to maybe like the third or fourth down holiday and it was like, I I wanted to go and train, I wanted to go and eat healthy and it's like, you start sort of feeling like, oh, like I really want to get back, not get back off holiday because I'm enjoying my holiday, but just get back to the normality of, of how I live in eating relatively healthy, but also training every day or at least going to the gym and doing stuff. Um, so you've got to try and find that happy balance, really. Um, and especially after the season, that's why I like to go away straight away, because I know that I don't really need to be doing anything. It's time to recover and rest. Uh, but you still get stuck in the in the thought process of, oh, I, I wouldn't mind going to the gym today, or I might just pop into the gym. I've got family, so couldn't really do it. I had kids, I can't expect my missus to look after me on holiday, like it's, it's our downtime. Um, but yeah, you do find yourself slipping into into that mindset of you've not exercised, you might feel a bit bit rubbish. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think it is really important to make sure you're at least doing something every day or three, four times a week to, mm. to give you that positive mindset. I know from my um, perspective, you know, I don't look massively fit like you two, but um, I do um, do some gentle running, I would say, um, and that's because it burns off um, cortisol, it burns off the stress hormone, um, and, and and I'm a bit like you. If I don't do something or move about uh, after a couple of days, it almost feels like a body hangover that I'm starting to have. So um, yeah, I think it's really important. And um, during the the course of the spring, Mid and North East Essex Mine are going to be working and, and trying to promote movement. Um, and how important it is to your mental health because it, it really, really is. Um, and it could be as simple as dancing to your favourite song in the kitchen. You know, some of your fans, you're going to have some fans who are sort of ultra fit like you guys and wish that they were on the pitch with you. Um, um, and then you'll have the fans who perhaps aren't quite as mobile at the moment. But um, really, we're just going to be encouraging people to do just a little bit more than they've been used to doing because that it really will have an impact on their sleep and just really how they're feeling. Um, on that note, um, I did a crazy thing and, and said yes to doing the Colchester 10K Stampede um, at the zoo um, at the end of April. Now, currently, I can't even run 5K outside, okay, so this is quite a tall order. I have started my training. Um, I can run for 30 minutes on a treadmill, which is not the same at all as running outside. Um, and now I'm starting to do some running. So, so um, I'm hoping that I'm going to get some tips from you guys on how I go from being that unfit to finally having a hurrah moment when I cross the line at the 10K um, in April. Um, so I don't know if you've got any sort of general tips for me, and I'm hoping you might um, show me some exercises in a little while, but have you got any general tips on how I should approach my training? Uh, a good music playlist, I think. Yeah, you definitely yeah. got to have that. Get yeah. some good tunes on, 100%. Yeah, yeah. We, we're running for a while, so yeah, yeah. you've definitely got to have something like that. Yeah. Um, but I think also just have a plan. Yeah. Have an actual plan of the start goal to the end goal. Yeah. And, uh, and as long as you're ticking every box along the way, then mm. come come the day of of the 5k, you say, or 10k, 10k. 10K. Mm. Come the day of the 10k, you'll smash it, yeah, and yeah. it'll be really fun. And don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just enjoy it. Maybe I just need your voices. Maybe I just need your voices in the back of my mind, like <laughs> cheering, cheering me on, going, "You can do it. You can, you can get there." So, um, but no, that's brilliant. So, hopefully, you'll be able to show me some some stretches or something, some techniques, so I don't hurt myself um, in this attempt to do 10k. But thank you ever so much to, to both of you for um, talking to me today, you know, in preparation for Time to Talk Day. And thank you for sharing and kind of, you know, encouraging people to talk about their mental health.